Hi everyone, it's Tremia and it's Tuesday and it's been exactly one week since my biopsies and I did get a call back today from the dermatology department up in Chicago and um, also I got a call from Dr. Burt's office and I got 25 pages of confusion. <laughs> it's all my results. Um, as far as the biopsies, they just have a preliminary reading of what they did, what they could read there in Chicago under the regular microscope. And it all comes out basically with what the initial um, diagnosis was that we had sent up and that they had done. Um, which is the necrotizing folliculitis, but the question is, that's basically a symptom, you know, what is causing it, and that we still don't know, and it's going to be two more weeks, <laughs> two more weeks before they get results. They're going to look under the electron microscope again, and then they also sent my slides off to Texas they said to sequence to sequence them and um, to try to verify and confirm any virus or bacteria so same same old news <laughs> nothing new here still anxiety still everything else going on with it this, all my blood work, basically the only thing that is normal is my CBC. Everything on my CBC is normal. Everything else out of that, they did 24 vial, vials of blood that one day. Then after my 24 hour urine, they did two more vials. So actually last week I had 26 vials of blood. But, um... Everything else has something wrong with it. <laughs> and it's just like, maybe I shouldn't ask to see these. But um, because I haven't got back what Dr. Burt, you know, what he he's going to say or do about anything. Um, and it might be waiting to see what, you know, the virus is. And what the what they say is rare is that whatever it is is only showing up in my skin it's not showing up in my blood and they've never seen that happen and um, Dr. Burt told me you know he's done 400 stem cell transplants and it's never come across this and then today when I was talking to dermatology they were saying the same thing and they said and, you know, Dr. Burt's the only one that does stem cell transplants for lupus. So I'm it. <laughs> Yet again, I made the journals. And, I, and she said, well, you're going to make the journals on this one. And I said, well, you know, I've made the journals on several other things. And, you know, <laughs> I'm not happy being famous that way. Um... And in the meantime, there's nothing that they can really do for the itching, burning, stinging. And so I'll just keep on sitting on my hands so I don't scratch. Um, I went and got my stitches out today from my dermatologist. And, you know, she looked over my biopsy sites and said everything was looking really well. And she talked to me you know quite a bit I took in all my paperwork so she'd have copies and she looked at it and she said you know she's never seen you know she doesn't understand it because it's not in my blood either you know and that's what is rare what they did tell me from Northwestern from Chicago today is that you know lupus did not show up in the biopsies so it didn't show up in my skin 
and it didn't show up on any of this. So still, you know, there there is no lupus. <laughs> there is no lupus. Whatever it is, you know, they question like, was it some kind of, you know, everybody has viruses and every, you know, stuff that lives in us, and you know, it could be something that like everybody has, but with a with their immune, you know, a normal immune system can fight it off. And just with me, it's just happened to, you know, pop out. And, you know, because I can't fight it off. And I'm looking at how swollen my face is. Oh. So, no answers. I mean, we do have answers. We know what it's not, so that's good. What it is, we still got to find out. And what it is, once they find it out, you know, what's the treatment going to be? Um, tomorrow I go for my IVIG, so that's got me a little bit anxious since, you know, I'm allergic to that, so I'll get that done, but, you know, I definitely know it's making a marked improvement in my health since I've started doing it, so, plus, I got good pizza there for lunch. <laughs> So, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll get me pizza for lunch. Um, gotta, like Dr. Burt said, we gotta work on this Cushingoid. And, um, get, get me out of this state because I'm just swelling and swelling and swelling more. And, you know, I can only go down one milligram a month. Um, but tomorrow with the IVIG, I get 60 milligrams IV solumedrol. So tomorrow I'm going to try to make that, the, tomorrow's going to be the day that I go down on my, um, my daily dose from 18 milligrams. And I talked to Dr. Burtz and I said I'm going to try to go down 2 milligrams and, you know, just see how it goes since I have that other protection in there. And I said if I kiss, start deciding I'm going to kill Dwayne and Sheldon, if I go into roid rage or, you know, whatever, withdrawals from the steroids, that, you know, I'll back it up and take, you know, the extra milligram a day. But I'm just going to see how that works. Because if it is a virus, with me being on steroids, it's not going to go away. And my dermatologist, she asked me today, she goes, well, ask me if I notice a difference of like how do I feel being immunosuppressed versus not being immunosuppressed I said I've never got to know the difference yet you know because of all the complications and everything I've never got to be I've never have not the lowest I got down was 12 milligrams and you know you're still immunosuppressed at that point I said so I don't know which way I feel better but I do know that I'm tired of having drugs and toxins and everything going through my body. I do know that. I want to be normal. I want to be healthy. And I know with all the drugs and stuff, I know I want to see what it feels like without it. And, you know, when I was in full-blown lupus, lupus flares, that thought never even crossed my mind. So, that's it for today. I'm running out of breath just sitting here talking. I have been working on my eating. Dwayne and I, um, he's been walking me, <laughs> walking me. <laughs> like he's walking a dog. <laughs> he pats me on the head. No. Um, I've been making it up towards the end of the block and back, and I've done that three days in a row. So, doing good, and I know I really got to improve on my eating habits. Um, keeping track of it a little, and I, it's worse than what I thought it was. So, but now I know, and so I'll make, I'll start working on that. So, we'll get there. See you guys in the next video.